What is up everybody, Deck here, and it looks like we've got a bit of a dust storm. Let me just get a view of it from outside real quick. <coughs> oh my, what do we have here? Uh, oh crap, okay. I can't even open that door, I'm going to have to go around. <laughs> oh, 31.5 kilos. But yeah, let's get this thing inside. Oh, holy crap, I'm so keen. I'm... Oh crap, okay. I'm... Alright, I'll, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm not really sure how to open this. Um, I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure... It doesn't say which way up, but I'm pretty sure the cone will be at the top here and the magnet at the bottom. Kind of has that balance to it. Would you look at that subwoofer. God damn, yeah, box in the box. It's the new one. It's the new one. It's the new sub. It's the new. It's the new one. Hell yeah. Decals. Should I put them on the car? I don't know. As the car itself doesn't have digital designs in it, but. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Holy crap. This is. This is the biggest. Oh. Okay. I know. Right, that was just audio commentary while I was getting this thing open. Look at this subwoofer. This is schmick. This... Oh, sorry about the focus. Yeah, autofocus doesn't seem to do anything on this camera. Ha! Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. Oh god, I'm so keen. This is like, oh, this is the first like proper bit of kit. I've always got like budget stuff until now. I've got a 2000 watt RMS driver right here, and from the top, it just likes, it just looks like a deep cone standard 12. Holy crap! Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get this out. Oh, oh holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, uh, oh, ah, oh, my wrist. <laughs> Son of a goddamn bitch. Holy crap, look at the size of that magnet. Dude, dude, it's the size of, it's, holy crap. Dude, dude, look at it. Hey, hang on. I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get my Crossfire 12 right now. Alright, I just went and got the Crossfire 12 and already you can kinda see the difference between them. <laughs> hmm. Alright, I wanna get this plastic wrap off. Alright, so I can just barely lift it with one arm, which is a good sign. <laughs> but <laughs> Oh, God damn it! Am I making such a long video about it? Wow, look, there's the voice call right there. And it's probably completely blurred. Damn, I wish this camera's autofocus would actually function. Yeah, you can see the black voice call. How thick's the spider? I think it's a double or triple layer. How stiff is it? Oh, it's pretty stiff. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a bit stiffer than that. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, I felt stiffer like cadence subs in super cheap, so it's probably a good sign. And yeah, direct leads. Uh, I don't know what gauge that is. I think it's, I think it might be 10 gauge or something. Hmm, not sure. But damn, that's a, it's a pretty thick. <laughs> Jeez. And also, something else good to note is... It uh, looks like the spider is uh, Allen keyed on, so that, that'll make it easier if I ever blow it up to recon it. No, oh, good, don't want to say it. Um, what else have we got going on? I think there are the tinsel leads. Oh, crap, focus! Gotta manually focus it. That's what I like about using the iPhone. Yeah, see two pairs of tinsel leads on each side because it's a dual voice coil. 
and there it is right there I think it's a full layer I can't tell probably copper cut aluminium um, but it's a four inch voice coil what a chonker what a goddamn chonker and look at it just floating right there in space <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's a triple stack magnet because look at look how thick that is <laughs> okay um, I suppose we'll tip it up now and have a look at the, also I should mention too, fully cast aluminium basket, feels really strong and thick. Uh, careful. Right, what have we got going on the, the arse end of it? Ah, focus! There we go, one 2000 watt RMS, 6000 watts peak and yeah it just says redline. Series 800 series. As for that, we got coil gap venting and we've also got pole piece venting. Which is. <laughs> Dude, check out the magnet. What? <laughs> oh my. That's, that's a bit of difference. That's a bit of difference. Jeez. Oh, well. Ah. Uh, I don't really know what to do, as the most powerful lamp I've got will only put 600 watts into it, but still that's 600 watts free. I suppose I could wire it to 1 ohm and and it'd trade at like 2400 watts as long as it box rises to 4 ohm, impedance rises to 4 ohm. Jesus, okay, alright, I think, I think that'll do. I think there's a lot of empty time in this video, but... That's uh that's an overview of the new uh sub for the horn. Yeah, it's gone in the horn. Jesus. So this should this should give me a good bit of good bit of power handling. Uh the old driver I had was more like that. So yeah, more power handling. Shouldn't burn up. Should be able to run it at six hundred watts. For the whole night without thermal issues. God damn. God damn. This. Oh, ha! Super keen. It weighs a third of me. Oh.